So the question says, Mr. Verma and Mr. Mathur, their masses are given to us 50 and 60 kgs, are sitting at the two extremes of a four meter long boat. And mass of the boat is also given to us 40 kg. Standing still in the water. Initially, everything is at rest. Nothing is in the motion. To discuss a mechanics problem, they come to the middle of the boat. Means both will start moving, of course. Mr. Verma will move towards Mr. Mathur. Mr. Mathur will move towards the uh, Mr. Verma. And finally, where they meet at the center. Neglecting any kind of friction with water, how far does the boat move on the water during this process? So now, first of all, we'll draw a diagram as we do. So what we will say, let's suppose this is the initial position or initial situation. Let's suppose Mr. Mathur is standing here. And the other person, Mr. Verma is standing here. Now you see one thing, mass of the boat is also given to you, correct? And the length of the boat is also given to you. It's four meter. And now what we will do, we'll draw the final situation. When Mathur will move towards Verma and Verma will move towards Mathur. Mass is also right here. This is 60 kg and this is 50 kg. So first of all, we'll see one thing when this 60 kg person will move towards right. And when this 50 kg person will move towards left in both these situations, they must be exerting some force on the boat. Of course, there is no friction here at the bottom because of the water, they have removed any kind of friction. But as I told you that uh, there have to be some sort of friction between their legs of Mr. Mathur and the boat. Otherwise, they cannot move. So if they start moving towards each other, Mathur will push the boat in the backward direction. And Verma will push the boat in the backward direction. I mean, right side and Mathur will push the boat in the left side. So can we guess where it will move the boat in a uh, Totally, if you see, where will the boat move? Left or towards the right? It will move towards left. Let's say if we are not able to predict, it will move towards left or it will move towards right. You can take it in any direction. No problem. Because if you take it to a right, let's say, then if you were assumption that you it will move towards right if that is wrong then you'll get a negative sign exactly if you take it towards left and if you get a positive answer that means yes whatever we have done that was correct only if you get a negative answer that means whatever uh, x we have displaced towards left that was wrong it will move towards right that's a common thing we know so now what we will do Let's draw the final situation. Finally, situation would be somewhat like this. Both of them will come at the center. So let's say this is the center of the boat. Both of them have reached at the center. And uh, now let's say the boat has moved in total a distance of X. This distance we can take X. Let's suppose boat has moved a total distance of X. All right. So of course, now this distance would also be X. Because every part of the boat will move towards left. So whatever uh, length or whatever distance this uh, front portion have covered, the same distance, the rear portion must have also covered right? X and X. Now we'll do one thing again. We'll apply that 
m1 into delta x1 change in position of one particle plus m2 multiplied change in position of second particle plus m3 multiplied change in position of third particle center of mass was at rest it will remain at rest or you can say the location of the center of mass will not change because there is no external force acting upon the system in horizontal direction horizontally there is no external force if you are thinking that the friction was there so it's an internal force right action reaction so you don't need to worry about it m1 multiplied delta x1 plus m2 multiplied delta x2 plus m3 multiplied delta x3 now let's select m1 m2 m3 suppose we call mr mathur as one particle mr verma will call at particle number 2 and boat let's we call at particle number 3 so first of all particle number 1 mr mathur how much distance he has moved can you tell me how much distance he has moved mr mathur very good 2 minus x so he has moved a distance of 2 minus x because this is a total distance 2 meter and this is already x now he has moved this much distance he has moved this much distance which is 2 minus x towards right so we will write down mass is 60 multiplied 2 minus x plus if we talk to second particle mr verma how much distance mr verma has moved this is x and this is 2 meter because that's the middle of the boat so mr verma has moved 2 plus x it is moving towards left so we'll take minus sign right because change in position is happening towards my negative uh, left side left side so his mass is how much 50 kg so 50 multiplied 2 plus x now let's come to particle number 3 which we have considered as our boat so if you consider as a boat then what we will say how much distance boat has moved of course simple x don't need to worry about it and distance towards left and what is the mass of the boat 40 so we'll just mention 40 into x clear now we just need to solve it sorry this will be minus because it has moved towards left the boat has also moved towards left verma has also moved towards left but the mathur has moved towards right now we just have to solve it so what we shall say 60 multiplied 2 minus x is equals to 50 multiplied 2 plus x plus 40 into x let's solve this 12 minus 6x i have cancelled out zero from all three terms so 12 minus 6x is equal to 10 plus 5x plus 4x this will become how much 2 is equals to 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 6 15 so x is equals to 2 over 15 meters this is a question from sc verma book chapter center of mass linear momentum and collision question number 12 i hope you understood the problem okay then that's all for today thank you so much bye bye